Welcome back, everybody. The Giants get back to work on Monday after having Sunday off. Uh, it's finally a game week. Uh, well, I guess that's assuming that the end zones at MetLife Stadium are painted and ready to go for uh, Friday night's first preseason game against the Dolphins. Uh, but before we get to that, here's three things I'll be watching in Monday's practice. Uh, I'm going to focus on the secondary uh, in all three of these points today. Uh, first up is Janoris Jenkins. He's had an up and down camp, uh, especially for such a, a big money free agent. He's made some plays, but he's also been on the receiving end of a lot of these deep balls that you see uh, you know, getting tweeted out every day at practice. And that was kind of the knock on him coming in, that he can be susceptible to the deep ball. So I'm going to want to see if he can tighten that up a little bit. And uh, I know I'm sure the Giants and their fans are going to want to see that as well. Uh, sticking at cornerback, Eli Apple uh, had, you know, definitely had his best practice at camp on Saturday. Uh, seemed like he was getting a lot more comfortable. And I think the biggest thing I've noticed really in the last two practices He's taken a lot of reps with the first team defense. Now, the question is, is that because Dominique Rogers Camardi is a veteran and doesn't need as many reps, and they just want to give the rookie as much experience as possible? Or is it a sign of things to come? I think that's a question we'll have to ask Ben McAdoo this week if, if uh, the trend continues of Apple taking so many reps with the first team defense. And then lastly, uh, the safety competition is interesting. The first team appears completely set. You have Landon Collins and Darian Thompson there. But beyond them, it's, uh, it's an interesting battle, and uh, I think guys are going to be fighting for roster spots there, depending on how things shake out. Uh, Michael Thompson and Nat Berhe have, have taken probably the majority of the second team snaps at safety, uh, but there's been a mix. You've had Cooper Taylor and Bennett Jackson and a few others in that mix, so uh, it'll be interesting to see how that shakes out. Uh, McAdoo has said he's working with different uh, groupings there, so that's something I think, as you know, as certainly as we get into the games during the preseason, will come into a little bit of focus, but... For Monday, that's what I'm watching, and check back on NJ.com for updates from practice.